Yan, what's up mga kaibigan? Tayo ngayon nagbabalik ano, upang magbigay na naman ng panibagong kalaman sa ating mga uh, mabubuting mag-aaral. Ano? Gamit ang ating whiteboard marker, ang ating uh, whiteboard itself, at syempre yung ating eraser. Ano? So ayun, bago tayo magsimula, bago natin ilahad ang ating uh, lesson ngayong araw, ano? kung maaari lamang mga kaibigan, ano? kung maaari lamang... <laughs> Uh, mag-subscribe na kayo sa ating channel ano? at uh, ganun din naman uh, click nyo na yung ating notification bell para naman updated kayo sa mga lessons na ating i-release sa mga susunod na araw ano? and also, syempre para masayang lahat comment, like, and share our videos para naman makatulong tayo sa iba alright, so ayun, good luck guys Alright, so today's lesson is uh, operation on functions mga kaibigan. Ano? So, again, when we say functions, commonly those are denoted by f of x, g of x, t of x. So, those kinds of uh, notations. Ano? And, uh, syempre, uh, operation, those are plus or addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Yun nga yung plus, minus, multiply and then divide na. No? So uh, by the definition of our uh, topic for today, uh, let's have uh, or let's say f and g are functions, no? So sabi diyan for the sum ano, letter a their sum denoted by f plus g kasi um, sum nga, di ba? So addition is the function defined by f plus g of x which is equal to f of x plus g of x. So, meaning, sabi lang dyan sa sum, kapag daw tayo ay merong two functions f and g, then, uh, kinukuha natin yung sum ng dalawang function, you will just add manually. Or you will just add the two functions, f of x and g of x. Okay? Then, uh, secondly, is the difference now, their difference denoted by f minus g, is the function defined by f minus g of x equals f of x minus g of x. So, the same thing with addition, kaya lang ito ay subtraction. Okay? So, their product denoted by f multiplied by g, or f times g, is the function defined by f times g of x equals f of x multiplied by g of x. And also, the same uh, thing with uh, division or the uh, the first the the fourth operation no yung ating uh, division where uh, uh, f of x divided by g of x kung saan yung ating g of x ay uh, hindi pwedeng zero no kasi pag naging zero yung g of x natin for the division meaning uh, the uh, the function will be undefined Okay, kasi bawal tayo magkaroon ng zero denominator. Okay, so from this definition, pinakita lamang that uh, we can add the two functions. We can subtract the two functions, we can multiply or we can divide a given two functions. Okay, so let us have an example for uh, uh, this topic. Ano? So example number one mga kaibigan, ayan, no, from the given list of functions dyan sa ating screen. So, we have f of x, p of x, v of x, g of x, h of x, and t of x. Uh, gagamitin natin yung functions na yan, ano, for uh, the following examples we have. No? So, for example, number one, uh, ito yung problem. v plus g of x uh, v plus g of x. So, meaning, for example, number one, we, uh, we are clear, uh, we can say that uh, the operation here is addition. Okay? So, meaning, uh, from the given list of functions dyan sa screen natin kanina, we are required to find the sum of v of x and g of x. Di ba, alam naman natin that 
uh, this um, notation is also equal to v of x, v of x plus g of x. No? So, meaning, dun sa, sabi ko nga, sa list na meron tayo kanina, we will just add v of x and then g of x. Okay? So, solve na natin. V of x on our uh, given is x squared plus 5x plus 4, ano? And then, yung g of x natin is x squared. So, plus x squared plus 2x minus 8. So, enclose ko lang sa parenthesis, no? Para makita natin yung two functions. So, ito yung v of x. V of x, ito yung g of x. So, a-add lang natin silang dalawa. So, by adding, combine like terms lang, ano? So, x squared plus x squared. So, we have 2x squared. 5x plus 2x, that is 7x. 4 minus 8, that is negative 4. So, meaning, the sum of v and g, or the sum of the functions v and g, is... 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. So, that is our final answer. For example, number 1. Alright? So, that that is for example number 1. Ganun lang mga kaibigan. Ano? Kasi kung ano lang yung operation na hinihingi, yun lang i-perform natin. Okay? So, for example number 2, uh, f multiplied by p of x. So, meaning, we will just uh, multiply f of x and then p of x. Okay? Play lang natin. From the given list kanina, sabi dyan, ang f of x natin ay x plus 3. x plus 3. Multiply by yung p of x natin, 2x minus 7. Alright? So, we will just multiply, mga kaibigan. Using our FOIL method, x multiply by 2x, that is 2x squared x multiply by negative 7, that is negative 7x. Then, 3 multiply by 2x, that is positive 6x. Then, x, ah, sorry, 3 multiply by negative 7, that is negative 21. So, combining like terms, simplify lang natin, we have 2x squared, negative 7x plus 6x, 6x that is negative x, minus 21. Alright? So, meaning, since ito ay simplified form na, no? Uh, the product of functions f and p is 2x squared minus x minus 21. So, that is our final answer for example, number 2. Ganun lang, ano, simple lang mga kaibigan. Eh. Basta kung ano lang yung operation na hinihingi, yun lang yung ating gagawin. Alright? So, example number 3. Pwede ko lang yan. Example number 3. Kung medyo mabilis yung ating uh, pagdi-discuss, pwede nyo namang ulit-ulitin ito. Diba? Recorded naman siya. Example number 3. Um, P minus F of X. So again, uh, we will just subtract uh, P of X to F of X. Yan. So, ano nga yung P of X natin kanina? 2X minus 7. So, again, enclose ko lang sa parenthesis, no? Para mas makita natin kung ano ba yung functions na yun. So, ito yung P of X minus, yung F of X natin is X plus 3. X plus 3. Okay? So, equals. So, simplify lang natin mga kaibigan, no? Simple lang naman yung ating combining like terms lang ito. So, 2X minus 7. Distribute lang natin yung negative sign dun sa mga sa parenthesis natin. So, negative multiplied by x, that is negative x. Negative multiplied by positive, that is negative 3 also. Okay? So, equals, combining like terms to x minus x, that is x. Negative 7 minus 3, that is negative 10. So, meaning that the difference of P and F are... Uh, uh, the, the difference of the functions P and F is X minus 10. So, write ko lang. And that is our final answer. X minus 10. So, for uh, our fourth example. 
yung ating I think this will be our last example ano kasi na meron na tayong addition, multiplication, subtraction. So, ano na lang wala natin? Division. So, for example, number 4, uh, V divide by G of X. Yan. So, we will divide V of X by G of X. So, V of X divide by G of X. Okay. So, yung V of X natin is uh, X squared plus 5x plus 4. Then, yung ating g of x is x squared plus 2x minus 8. So, again, we have a trinomial on the numerator then trinomial in the denominator. Ngayon, uh, we can't say, no, hindi pa natin pwedeng sabihin that uh, this is our final answer yet, no? Kasi nga, uh, Maybe uh, the, the numerator is still factorable and also the denominator is factorable. So, let's see if they are still factorable, okay? So, for uh, the numerator, that is a trinomial, no? So, by factoring, since 1 lang yung uh, coefficient ng leading term natin, yung ating trial and error factoring, Ano ang coef ano, ano ang product ng 4 na kapag inad mo ang sagot ay 5. So it is clear that the product of 4 is 4 and 1. Diba 4 multiplied by 1 that is 4. Kapag inad mo ang 4 at 1, the answer is positive 5. So meaning we have x plus 4 and x plus 1 as their factors. Okay? So for the denominator, ganun din Ganun din yung gagawin nating way of factoring, ano? Factors ng negative 8 na kapag inad natin ng sagot ay 2. So, uh, we can say that uh, the factors or we can uh, use the factors positive 4 and negative 2. Kapag multiply mo ang positive 4 and negative 2, the answer is negative 8. Tama, no? Then, kapag inad mo ang 4 and negative 2, the answer is positive 2. Tama? So, meaning, the factors are x plus 4 and x minus 2. Now, as we can see, we have a common uh, factor from numerator and denominator. So, meaning, ito ay cancel na. Therefore, the simplified form of our quotient is x plus 1 over x minus 2. And that is our final answer. So, meaning the quotient of v and g is x plus 1 over x minus 2. Okay, mga kaibigan. So, that's it ano, for uh, operation on functions. Madali lang naman siya, mga kaibigan. If we have a given functions or list of functions, then uh, you are required to, to find the sum difference uh, the product and the quotient of those functions simply apply the operation. Ganun lang. Kung ano lang yung ginawa natin dito sa examples natin, ganun lang yung gagawin ninyo sa klase ninyo. Alright, mga kaibigan, and uh, ayun, uh, muli tayong magkita-kita no, sa susunod pa natin mga videos and hopefully ay uh, tangkiligin nyo na kung ano yung meron tayo mga kaibigan. And uh, that's it. Thank you guys and God bless. Oh, 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 oh,